golden nodes, osteomyelitis. In osteomyelitis, MRI is the imaging modality of choice. If no other information is available about a patient with osteomyelitis, the causative bacteria is Staphylococcus aureus until proven otherwise. Patients with sickle cell disease have a predisposition to develop osteomyelitis due to salmonella species. Definition is an infection of bone marrow and bone. Acute form develops within days or weeks. Chronic form develops slowly of a month or years and is associated with a vascular bone necrosis and sequestrum formation within the bone causes as we said staph aureus is the most common cause but followed by pseudomonas pseudomonas aeruginosa is more common in intravenous drug users salmonella species is the commonest cause in patients with sickle cell anemia Pastorella multicida, seen in cases caused by cat and dog bites. Hematogenous osteomyelitis most commonly involves the vertebrae, but infection may also occur in the metaphyses of the lung bones, pelvis, and clavicle. The lumbar spine is most commonly affected, followed by the thoracic and cervical regions. The location is usually Metaphysial. The metaphysis is commonest site of osteomyelitis because it is highly vascular, has a hairpin like arrangement of capillaries, has a sluggish blood flow, has relatively fluid phagocytic cells than the physis and diaphysis, allowing infection to occur more easily in this area, and a thin cortex. Post traumatic osteomyelitis typically found in the tibia. Contiguous focus osteomyelitis, direct inoculation of bacteria via trauma. Infection usually results approximately one month after inoculation. Predisposing conditions, diabetes mellitus, sickle cell anemia, intravenous drug user, immunosuppression due to either medication or HIV, alcohol access, investigations, as we said, MRI is the imaging modality of choice with a sensitivity of up to 90 to 100 percent. Show cortical destruction, bone marrow inflammation, and soft tissue involvement. Bone scintigraphy, gallium bone scan, if MRI is contraindicated, like metal for body implants, detect sites of infection. X ray shows. Still provide the best initial screening test for acute and chronic osteomyelitis. Early stages, less than two weeks of symptoms onset, typically no pathological findings. Later stages, bone destruction, sequestrium formation, periosteal reaction, lytic lesion with sclerotic margins, Brody's abscess. A form of chronic osteomyelitis, thickened bone with irregular and patchy sclerosis that gives a honeycombed appearance. Sequestra are seen as dense loose fragments lying within a cavity in the bone. Incidence onset, for example, six months history of gradually progressive swelling and pain, often near the site of the metaphysis. Deep, boring, Pain is often the predominant symptoms. Osteomyelitis can cause a raised periosteum, which is part of the radiographic sign known as the Codesman Triangle. Bone biopsy confirmatory test detects both osteonecrosis and the pathogen, confirms the diagnosis, and helps guide more specific therapy. Differential diagnosis, septic arthritis, infection of the joint. In fact, in contrast to osteomyelitis, involvement of the metaphysis is rare. Ewing sarcoma, in x-ray, lytic bone lesions, onion skin appearance of the periosteum. The management, 
Flocloxacillin for six weeks. Clindamycin if penicillin allergic. Betalactams and vancomycin are commonly used as initial empiric therapy. Also myelitis from contiguous spread of infection. Piptazo patients with penicillin allergy. Clindamycin or metronidazole plus ciprofloxacin. If MRSA is suspected, then add vancomycin or linzolide if allergic to vancomycin. This was provided by the SSSM Study Smart Series for MRCP. Your easy way to easy pass. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Telegram, and YouTube channel. Thank you very much.